If you're reading this in 2025, try not to laugh too hard if these predictions didn't pan out. The moment we've been waiting for is finally here. After a heart-wrenching playoff exit at the hands of the San Francisco 49ers eight months ago, the Green Bay Packers are back on the field, ready to make another deep postseason run. Jordan Love is now entering his second year as the Packers' starting quarterback. With a fresh four-year contract extension worth $220 million, he's officially the highest-paid player in NFL history. Love will be leading an offense with a revamped backfield, featuring all-pro running back Josh Jacobs and third-round draft pick Marshawn Lloyd. The expectations for this Packers offense are sky-high. Last season's disappointing defensive performance led to the firing of Joe Barry as defensive coordinator. Stepping into his shoes is Jeff Halfley, known for his aggressive defensive strategies, which offer the Packers a new defensive identity. Halfley will also be implementing a 4-3 defensive scheme in Green Bay. So, what should we expect from the Packers in the upcoming 2024 season? Let's dive into some bold predictions. Bold predictions for the Packers in the 2024 season. The statistics speak for themselves. In the final eight games of the 2023 regular season, Jordan Love completed 70.3% of his passes, racking up 2,150 yards, 18 touchdowns, and just one interception, earning an elite passer rating of 112.7. These are MVP caliber numbers. The big question is whether Love can sustain this level of play throughout an entire season. If he can replicate his late-season form and maintain it over 17 games, he'll make a compelling case for the NFL MVP award. Projecting his final eight-game statistics across a full season, Love would end up with 4,568 passing yards, 38 touchdowns, and only two interceptions. These numbers are superior to those posted by Aaron Rodgers during his MVP seasons in 2014 and 2021. Love demonstrated his all-pro potential during the playoff victory against the Dallas Cowboys. Despite it being his first playoff appearance, and on the road against a team with the fifth-ranked defense in the league that had won 16 consecutive home games by a combined score of 566 to 285, Love was unfazed. He completed 76.2% of his passes for 272 yards and three touchdowns, finishing with a near-perfect passer rating of 157.2, leading the Packers to a 48-32 victory. The future is now for Jordan Love, and the statistics don't lie. Packers will have a top-five defense under Jeff Halfley. The Packers already had the talent on defense, now, they have a coordinator who can bring out their full potential. Jeff Halfley's defensive philosophy aligns perfectly with Green Bay's strengths. Cornerbacks Jer Alexander, Eric Stokes, and Carrington Valentine excel in press man coverage, where they can challenge receivers at the line of scrimmage. Joe Barry's previous system often had them playing off the ball, which didn't fully utilize their skills. With Halfley's 4-3 scheme, pass rushers like Rashawn Gary, Preston Smith, and Lucas Van Ness will now play as defensive ends with their hands in the dirt, rather than as three to four outside linebackers. This role is familiar to them and should maximize their effectiveness as pass rushers. Halfley also emphasized what he was looking for at the safety position, leading to a complete overhaul of the Packers' safety room. Xavier McKinney and Javon Bullard, two versatile playmakers, were brought in and are expected to thrive in Halfley's system. With all-pro talent and a new defensive scheme, Green Bay's defense is poised for a breakout season. The hype train for the Packers' defense is definitely on the move. David Bakhtiari is still searching for a new team, while the Packers are dealing with a lack of depth at the tackle position. A reunion between the two sides seems more logical than ever. If Bakhtiari is fully healthy, he could easily step back into his role as the Packers' starting left tackle, with Rashid Walker providing depth as the swing tackle. While Green Bay kept Andre Dillard, Kadeem Telfort, and Travis Glover on their 53-man roster, none have shown the consistency needed to secure the swing tackle position. 
The Packers could find themselves in trouble if either Walker or Zach Tom suffers an injury. Bakhtiari has stated that he wants to play for a team with a shot at winning the next Super Bowl MVP. A return to Green Bay might be the best way for him to achieve that goal. With Love poised to win MVP, the Packers boasting a top 5 defense, and Bakhtiari returning to solidify the offensive line, Green Bay has all the ingredients for a Super Bowl run. And why not? Last January, the Packers were on the brink of victory against the San Francisco 49ers. A win would have sent them to Ford Field, where they had already dominated the Detroit Lions earlier in the season. The 49ers and Lions remain among the NFC's elite teams, and the Philadelphia Eagles and Dallas Cowboys are likely to be contenders as well. While the Packers may not enter the season as the favorites in the NFC, they are certainly among the top contenders. If this team can hit its stride at the right time, they have a real shot at making it all the way to Super Bowl 59 in New Orleans.